Hey there everybody, it's Betsy from Sticky Mix, and in this video I'm going to be concentrating on my art classes and just the general overview for art classes. And I've been doing this like double page like header thing for a while now, so I just went ahead and drew that right across the top. And I need to come up with drawing tips for the monthly newsletter, and for some reason couldn't write October. I was going to write August again because, you know, the months go August, September, August again. No, they don't, so I had to try to fix that. Anyway, that's my little tracker for how many drawing tips I've drawn for the year. Because I used to um, draw them like one a month, right? I just like draw one for the month and then draw one for the next month. But it always happened that I kind of forgot about it until it was like due the next day and I was just like, oh no, I have to get it done. So now I'm just like, oh, hey, why not just sacrifice like two hours out of your weekend or a day off or whatever because I don't have a weekend and then get like you know three of them done in one shot now you're just like home free for three months I and mean, that's amazing so all kinds of whiteout happening here because I was um, making a little list so like if I ever needed to kind of review like what have I done lately what have I already covered in my art classes then I could just look at this page and see what I did for the year um, but problem I didn't have enough space to leave like a blank line in between, so I just kind of crammed it all up next to each other, but then there was this really awkward white space at the bottom, which you'll probably see in a minute when I go back to that page, so, you know, just brace your eyes for a second there. Class inspiration. So here are some things I might teach about, maybe, because I have to pick things that the kids like so that kids come in but also things that are appropriate for the moms. So like furries, mm, that's a touchy subject. Please don't go and um, internet search furries because just don't. Uh, I mean like, I, my furry, okay, growing up was like Robin Hood, okay? Just like good guy and just wanted to help people. But now furries are different, so uh, yeah, I don't know. I might do a class on that, might, might not. So here's my page. Of details for my Hilda classes and the Hilda classes are going kind of okay they're fairly well so just taking down some notes of like this is what we do in a class first I tell them to fold their paper in half like a book in half top to bottom and then we're gonna practice like rocks by themselves here's a little tip about rocks put some grass overlapping and then the next one we draw mountains and here's a tip don't just draw your mountains side by side overlap and then we draw trees and here's a tip Make them round and fluffy, because that's how they are in Hilda, okay, etc, etc. That takes about 15 minutes, and the class is one hour. So then, in the next 15 minutes, we talk about composition. And of course, that's a really big word for a little kid, so it's just like, let's make a plan. Let's plan out our backgrounds, okay? And for our backgrounds, we're actually going to have three layers. The foreground, the middle ground, and the background. So a really easy way to separate these is you use three different colors, like black for the foreground so things are super close then gray for the middle ground which things are just kind of in the middle and then far away white and you can do this for everything and just it makes things easier so that's what i'm doodling there a little waterfall if you couldn't tell what that was <laughs> and then some clouds and a big rock and a tree yeah that's not like a weird bug right up in the frame that was supposed to be hilda and her little fox deer sitting on a rock and then Ooh, excuse me. Uh, approximately 25 minutes left for drawing, and then I leave five minutes for cleanup, where it's just like, please put your pencils back in their little containers, put the erasers back, put your chair back, you know, put your drawing on your clipboard so it will be there next time, and let's call it a day. Then on the other side, I need to figure out um, what kind of things am I doing for the other months, because the mountain one was obviously the example on the left. So, yeah. Let's just make notes anyway because I don't know sure and then Trollberg is the city because Hilda moves into the city against her will but uh, what, are, what are we gonna do then we can't draw rocks and pine trees and mountains because now it's the city so I'm gonna have to figure out like how to do warm-ups with houses and like traffic lights and things like that notes for next time so free time is kind of not working Kids, they want to be led step by step. They just want to make something pretty by copying what I do. So that's a thing. The warm-ups are maybe too repetitive because they're the same thing kind of every time. And I think I need to um, 
just highlight the word of the day more. Just be like, if you remember nothing else from this class, remember to overlap your mountains. That's it. Just like overlap your mountains. Okay, the end. So here we go, forest animals. We're painting them. And again, I just drew my highlighter header right across the two pages. But that was a mistake, and you will find out why later. So for forest animals, um, January has passed, but I decided to write it anyway, I guess. And uh, write down all the animals that we're doing for the different weeks. This class happens once a week. We paint with acrylic paints on um, like the cross-section of young trees' trunks. Like this. It's easier just to show a picture like this. Okay. So these are the animals we're going to do. I forgot that the chipmunk happened on the 13th, not, not the 6th. That's the rabbit. And then colored in some little check boxes, which I kind of like. I like the look at that. Of which ones I've already done the demonstration piece for. You can see I'm only about two weeks ahead right now at the time of filming this video with the rabbit and chipmunk done. Notes for next time. Projector is incapable of displaying true colors and it makes mixing really difficult because I'm mixing on my palette and it looks like orange to me and then I look up on the screen and it's just like brown and like goodness this you know doesn't match what I'm doing on the screen so that's hard and then sometimes we mix so many colors I'm just like use that brown from before that lightish one and they're like which lightish one so I actually didn't have anything else to write about the painting class and so I just wrote original characters right on through the header and just started out with here's what failed okay because this class is failing hard so Thomas Romain he has a YouTube series and it's a great YouTube series and I thought it would be so awesome to base a class on his videos but um, no one cares I'm sorry Tom they come here to draw not to watch YouTube so apparently that was a mistake on my part uh, I tried to recreate his process of like taking like an idea that's badly drawn and then make a better version, but these kids aren't pro artists so they can't do that yet. And yeah, there's just some, some things I'm finding that just don't work. Um, I need to have a lot more demonstration pieces and that's a pain because that means I have to spend my hours when I'm not paid to do demonstration pieces to have an easier time at class. Or I could not and then have it rougher for me in class so I don't know which which is the right answer there I don't know so here's some ideas let's get back to basics okay let's just start with an archetype let's just like here let's draw a witch what do witches have everybody that's right pointed hats what color skin do they have that's right everybody green oh but wait have you ever seen a movie called Wizard of Oz do you remember Glinda the Good ah there we go variation on the theme okay anyway yeah, I gotta save that class. Then, there's the red line class where I take a drawing and I kind of show how we can make it better, you know? I like just a couple of curved lines, a little overlapping, a little foreshortening, and it can really look better. Although, again, the word better is just so full of wrongness because art is art. It's self-expression. It's representation of your soul. Who am I to say your soul doesn't have enough overlapping, right? But again, I'm dealing with parents who are just like, it doesn't look like a cat. It looks like a dog. We need to fix this. And so, yeah, that, that happens. Since I'm going to be flipping to this index a lot, I decided to pull out my hedgehog book tabs. Hedgehog, get it? You know, it's the year of the hog. Okay, that's enough of that. And so uh, I can flip to my index more easily now. But I'm also still marking the page numbers on the pages that reference them. Does that make sense? Like on my February month view, I still write like, oh, do you need more details on this thing? You know, go flip to page 17. So yeah, that's the thing. So with Redline, I actually find artwork on the internet, which um, has maybe been drawn by not professional artists, okay, maybe somebody just starting out, and we fix them in class. And so I'm writing some check boxes down so I can find some drawings where we can fix the size, fix the foreshortening, fix the horizon line and density and all that good stuff. And then in March, there are more classes. So let's make more boxes. 
There's March 1st, 8th, 15th, 22nd, and 29th. Yes. All of those need at least three reference drawings, I think. And here are the themes of the classes. Bonus. Add your imagination, kids. I know you haven't used it in a long time, but try. Try to put something in the drawing that is not on mine. I'm not going to show you how, okay? You just got to put something that's not there, like butterfly, rainbow, anything. Like, make it your own. Own it. The rest of the space was just notes for next time. And actually, that class is going pretty good, so there are no notes for next time. Be back soon.